so I'm going to be making venison burgers for when we travel and there should be some leftover for next week actually as well because I have some steak cooked in there. Um, really low fat. It's actually London broil. Well, not London broil. What is it called? The steak is, yes. No, it's, it's London broil is the way that you cook it's it. It's a round, top the, round. Yeah, top round. So super lean. These venison burgers that he makes though are so good because he uses a special seasoning. Yum. And this is cherry wood smoked sea salt. And it's local organic products, so it's super, super good. I don't good. know why this will never focus. With these turkey burgers, can I package them with asparagus? Package it with asparagus? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. That's fine. Any meal that has asparagus to it, it doesn't have an issue with the reheat process. The only way that we have an issue with the reheat process is like, Honestly, if you have them all mashed together, all those asparagus, when it freezes and unfreezes, oh, yeah. it turns into like cute. mush. Yeah. So it's better than some of the other um, greens. But that's one reason why I brought up bok choy, because bok choy is a really, really strong vegetable that'll save them together. So, best investment ever is a vacuum sealer. I say that about a lot of things, I guess, in the kitchen, don't I? You do. Because I love kitchen appliances. So, this is game changer when you're traveling because you vacuum seal your food and it'll keep it fresh for up to a week and a half if you keep it in the fridge. If you put it in the freezer, it'll stay good in the freezer for I believe three to six months. And then if you take it out of the freezer, let it thaw, it'll be good for like three to five days max. But what we're doing for the Arnold is vacuum sealing. So what I've done here, I've already vacuum sealed my individual meat serving sizes. So I rate four ounces for this chicken that I cooked in my air fryer. This one's actually three ounces. I'm gonna add rice and kimchi and some sauce into it and vacuum seal it. And David's turkey burgers that I just made that look amazing. I'm adding an asparagus with them. Same with the fishes. This is cod with lemon dill seasoning from that Anis's Spice Company as well, which you can purchase online. I'm gonna tag in the comments uh, notes section below. I'm legit like super out of it right now, but just finished all the meal prep. The hard part is done. All that's left are clothes, supplements, and workout apparel. Here are some of David's burgers, so literally, he cooked them, I weighed them out, then I vacuum sealed. These ones go with rice, and we bring Uncle Ben's rice packets. These ones are his no-carb meals, so asparagus with the burger. And I'll show you guys, I just throw them in our second freezer. Whoa, all those foods. There's my chicken, you can't see. That is the fish with asparagus and the lemon. I don't know how the lemon's gonna turn out. We're gonna try it. Here's my turkey burgers that I made, David, with the asparagus as well. Um, game changer, here's the broccoli from my last YouTube video, the frozen bags. Pretty legit. So every month, one thing that Dave and I are starting to do is take our measurements of our certain body parts to see how we're progressing, especially now that we're both cutting, it's even more important to see how much muscle mass we actually have. Dave's obviously gonna have more muscle than me, but. No, it's just cool to see the progress as time goes on because all these people think that they have these crazy measurements in the off season and stuff like that. I knew I store fat in my legs, and we saw what an inch drop off, almost an inch drop in off the in the first month alone. And I'm speculating to see less drop off from that point. So you kind of learn your body as well and where you store body fat. So it's interesting. Mm -hmm. It also tells you if you're regressing rather than progressing, or at least staying stagnant. Staying stagnant is the goal, honestly, from an off season to an on season. So it's cool to track it. Mm -hmm. So David's gonna pull up my computer. I've got it on an Excel file and 
all the body parts we're doing. We do chest slash back. So going basically from below where your widest part of your lat is. Then we do the waist. Women's waists are different than men's waist. It's basically above the hip bone. And David's waist is actually really low on his torso compared to mine. Mine's actually right at the belly button for a female. Then we're doing, I've been doing the glutes, um, quads, calves, and biceps. And we're not sure how everyone else does their measurements. It's honestly just a tracking progress for us. We're not trying to compare to anyone or anything. So essentially, we're tracking at the peak of the muscles and that's it. So we're tracking at our peak of the muscles. We're not like trying to highball it. We're not doing it pumped. Actually, we've been completely unpumped every single time we've done our measurements to make them more accurate because you can literally put two inches of blood into an arm from a workout. So that's yeah. not fair to do those measurements like that and guys will do it just to ego boost themselves. We're not about that life. So, let's start. David, do you have your weight? No, I'll get my weight um, Tuesday morning. Okay. Then we can log it. Okay. But it's like 207. Okay. Maybe lower now, maybe 206. Okay, we're gonna start with your waist. And I just use a regular measuring tape. You can get this at a craft store. Um, you can get it at your local um, supply store. So, David's waist is it's right cool. below his belly button by about an inch. That's it's lower than that. No, it's not. It's right above your hips. It's right here because your butt is right there. Yeah, but you don't want to get the fat right there because it's on my waist. Your hip bone. That's where it's at. Mm -hmm. It's right here on me. We were discussing this. Okay, it was 31 inches and now you're at 32. So his is 31 and a half inches. Yeah, supposedly. Right. I thought it was a little bit higher than that. 31. Without me sucking in, it's actually lower. Okay, it's 31 then. No, it's not. It's lower. Look at this. Then what does it say? 30.5. Okay. No, it's 30.75. 30.5, I just pulled it. No, it was one notch back from 31. Where's that? Okay. Where's that? 30 and a half. Okay. And that's not me sucking in or anything. That's just taut. Okay. So I dropped. Yeah, you dropped an inch. That's why like, I should probably do that because I've been measuring my waist. Okay. So. Chest. Hold here. Why are you sweaty? Because I was just cleaning the bathroom. I was actually doing domestic chores. I said, I don't know. It fell down my back completely. Recording that. I think that increased my inch. This is 51.5. Wait, let's try it again. Hold on, I'm not even wise for your lap. I'm like right in your armpits. Yeah, I know. Because it fell down my whole back, so. That's not right, is it? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is like the weirdest measure in there. There, that's better. It says 49. Okay. So you lost a little, well you survived on your back. Yeah, I mean that's accurate. I was I was really surprised when it went up on the first month, so that does not surprise me. Okay, quad, quad life for David. This one is always challenging. Can you turn more towards there? Perfect. So I try and get the biggest part of his teardrop and go. David gets all paranoid that I'm not making sure his legs are as big as they are. 38, 39. 39? Yeah. Okay. Going up a lot. <laughs> Wait, oh my gosh. Hold on, I'm on the wrong end of this thing. Yes, I was. We'll try this again. 
This is me fast, you guys. I can't think right now. Okay, this is 25 and 3 quarters. Okay, one second. Okay. Talk. Talk like a tiger. That's 26. <laughs> that more that makes sense, yeah, because that's a 0. 0.5 drop. Oh, yeah. Which no, is 0. 0.25. 0. 0.2, that's good. That, yeah. I mean, that's to be expected. Yeah. Alright, your arm. Uh. Seventeen and a half? Yeah, so that's a drop. Yep. And last but not least, your calf. Yeah. At least I have veins being walking through. Yeah. The fun stuff's in life. Whoa, look at that zoom. There we go. We've got some light. Yeah, let's uh get towards this end of this. Another drop. No, no, no. This is, oh yeah. Point two five. Wait, so my legs actually like reduced evenly, which makes sense. I think that I actually will have a progress into the next month. And the reason for the progress is that I've been injured. So I've been training my legs for a month almost. That's true. So I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, that's good. Alright, my turn. Starting at the waist. Let's zoom this back out. Oh, hello. It's, yeah, it's right here. There you go. I can't see you. Third. And I'm not sucking in. Should I suck in? No, I just tighten down like my diaphragm out of it. Okay. Is that how you've been doing it? Yeah. You said that I was at 29.75. So yeah, I guess which, it's not really changing. But you been, you were bulking, don't forget, for most of this past month. Yeah, that's true. So it was you had a 0.25 increase on a bulk and you just flipped into a cut this week, so right. that sounds pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. Because it's gonna be dissension from the swelling of the gut from food. Even though I'm fasted, I'm drinking a lot of water, so I am holding. But by the morning, I'm gonna not be. Next is chest. Thirty-six points on five. Decrease. Two inches. Do you want me to redo it? Did you include my, well you didn't include the boobs, but... I don't think I re we ever did. We, did we do it below them? No, we didn't do it below. We well, did was it above I, because was you I had flexing? Locked. I don't think you're flexed, you just like stand naturally like, right, like a relaxed. Let's just do it one more time. I don't remember how exactly. Mm -hmm. I give you some bud room, you're at 37. Right. So you're like at 36.9, so it's like 37. Quads! Okay. Oh my gosh. I don't know which one's bigger. Which one's bigger? I don't know. My left one's bigger, but I'm at my right. Neither thing works for me. Sugar, though. That's, yeah, that makes up for that waist size too. So that's true. Dead even with it. Okay. Like, you're gonna have calves. Arms. Uh, arms. It's gonna be fun tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> I like making funny faces. Twelve point five. Eh, my baby arms. That means they went down by half inch. Yikes. Well, that's good because I do stir a lot of fat in my arms. Like last time I was competition prep, like stupid lean arms. So, Cows. yeah. Hey, which one do you want? The left. 
So that's more accurate. Yeah. That's a big difference, isn't it? Yeah, I told you my left one was smaller. I should measure my right one next time. Just, just, just. Glutes! You can measure this. I don't know how you measure that. I didn't We did it. It's just straight around my butt. So the fullest part of my butt. So basically, just through the center. Where? It's popping. You fly! So like, do you, does yes. it put on the legs or is it the waist to the butt? No, just like the legs. Thirty-nine and a half. So it's about the same. Interesting. No, it went up. Oh, it did. See, all the all the fat areas you store fat went up about 0.25. Great. Legs. And all the areas you store fat went down. Yeah. Because you were on a bulk till a week ago. Yeah. So three weeks of it. it. Makes sense. Okay. Until next month, those are our current measurements. And we need to take our weight. Mine's probably about, I was 147 last Wednesday. So I'm probably like 146 today. I didn't drop a whole lot. When was our last weight? Last week, 209. So I am probably down three pounds from that total. Probably 206.6 is about right. Mm. If I dropped the pound this week, yeah. I probably did because I was stagnant the week before. Right. We'll see. But that's part of our fun and taking our measurements. Not everybody has to do this. This is how we have it laid out. Just doing month by month.